Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's important video, we are going to talk about how to improve the performance of our Tableau dashboard. This is also undoubtedly one of the most commonly asked Tableau interview question in your second round or third round. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now, first thing is when I'm saying in to increase the performance of our dashboard means the first step is there is already there is already a dashboard in server that is working but the load time or the rendering time we call rendering time of that dashboard is slow with which client has some problem this is what we got to know as of now like a client will come back to you and say hey rahul you know i see that you know tableau dashboard is loading slowly what do i need to do or can you look into it that you know it has to load it so for every project or specific to client there can be some standards set up by them like say they want to load in they want to load their tableau dashboards in 15 seconds or 10 seconds or 1 minute 1 minute is too high but 5 seconds like that so now when we are designing our tableau dashboards we have to make sure it is loading in that stipulated time now this can also be your interview question where they will ask you like what is the load time of of your tableau dashboard now comment me what will you answer in this situation so will you say it is one minute or will you say it is 30 seconds and all so for some even 15 seconds is also very high and for some one minute is also very low like that so it depends on how your tableau design is that is something that you need to keep in mind what are you trying to accomplish in your tableau design so the first step to identify where the problem is in doing performance recording. That is the first step we always do. Performance recording. This is the first step we do. Now this can be done at two levels. One is at your desktop level where you can download the report like I say, I'll go to my Tableau report here. I can click on this server. Uh, sorry, not on server here. So I have this help settings and performance. Under this, I have an option called as a start performance recording. Now, once I do this, like say, I'm taking this dashboard that I've created. I'll go to help settings and performance, start performance recording. Now, the recording is being run. Every action that you are doing on Tableau is being tracked. Now I want to filter it on Central. So I can click on it or East, something like that. Now when I don't want, I can click. So I have performed some actions on Dashboard. So with which Tableau is trying to communicate or you know rerun the logic or run the query and get the data, all of that it is trying to do. Now once you are done with those actions, you can go back to your help, go to your settings and performance. Now you will see stop a performance recording. Click on that. Now, once you do that, the recording will stop and Tableau will create a workbook with the timelines. Now, this is what you need to understand or this is what you need to explore. Like say here, in this thing, you will have detailed you know, observations that that tableau has done and it has created like it will show you how much time it has done taken to run the query to render the dashboard to calculate the views all of that information will be written here now basing on that you need to take action here like say here which is consuming most of the time that you need to observe okay which dashboard so which query is taking time so under because we do not have any query here it is not showing but when you have queries it will show how much of time your, your queries are taking that it will show yeah. okay so once you do that analysis okay you will come to a conclusion 
where is the bottleneck or where is the problem statement okay that is one thing so if at all you want to do a recording at a server level simply you can go to your tableau server where your report is there open the report end of the day end of the link url link just copy and paste this you need to write record underscore performance is equal to yes like say i'll go to url here i'll go to my report so there is there will be some url here right so click on that and at the end of the link you you just need to append this information to that site right? so recording will start at the server level and once that is done you can click on a uh, stop button that you will have a time uh, clock symbol on the server you can click on that and it will stop and then same thing it will download the workbook and and then the steps from there will be same okay so that is the first step in doing uh, or identifying where the problem is doing a performance recording so which can be done at desktop level and it can be done at server level now after you are done with performance recording what we can do here so there are certain points that we can always consider to improve the performance of our dashboard so that is first point so see if you are working on a data set which is not frequently refreshing or you know there is a little delay in the data and client is okay with that then you can prefer having extracts so extracts are you know always faster compared to live because you know the storage wise you need to understand how you know extracts store the data it is a columnar storage okay that is why uh, the performance of extracts is far better second thing is you know you need to minimize the number of fields that you are using in the view see if i go to my tableau dashboard i might have n number of worksheets that i have created here okay and n number of calculations n number of views that i'm getting but sometimes i might not be using all of them in my view i need only few so i can always click on them and hide all unused field i can do that that is definitely going to increase uh, you know the performance of your tableau dashboard because you are hiding the unwanted fields so keep this point in my in your mind whenever you are trying to do so now this comes after the dashboard is prepared completely and you are aware that you don't you no longer need any other fields so in that situation you can go and try to do this step next is minimizing the number of records okay so always 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 understand what is the scope of your data okay so only when you know the scope of data you can you know limit the data to use only that amount of data that is actually needed and once you realize that you can go back to your tableau dashboard you can go to your data source here maybe it is okay okay you can go to this okay it is asking me you can go to your data source and then you can apply extract filters there that is something that you can always do here so remember that so if not th there is a latest option in tableau if you are using you know uh, versions after tableau 2022 then you will see you know a performance of optimizer option here so under server you have an option called as run optimizer here so when you run that the tableau will try to evaluate your dashboard design if it is with the standards that is the tableau recommends and what are the you know let us try to run and see what are the recommendations now you see it is asking us to take one action and 19 have passed so you can rerun this to analyze your workbook and you can try to improve the performance here that is something that we can do in point one <clears throat> second one is related to your data points now 
the more number of data points in your view tableau will try to evaluate all of that data points okay so try to see if you can reduce the data points in your view so when i say that okay so if i go to my tableau here and if i try to create a simple view like say i'm taking category here and i'm taking sales now if you observe at this point of time tableau is trying to read three marks right but when i'm trying to add customer name to my detail shelf see the number of data points tableau is trying to analyze at this point it is almost like say 2182 data points tableau is trying to read or evaluate now this is here it is limited but in real time it might have an impact on your dashboard so make sure you are doing that and how we can avoid this is don't plan to put everything in one place don't make it you know look clumsy try to divide and you know rule so that method you can always apply so like say divide and conquer method here so let the user navigate to different dashboards let the user you know do a drill down on the data that can help him you know interact with the dashboard and also increase the load times so remove unwanted fields from your detail shelf now if you see here i have added customer name in the detail shelf but technically it is not adding any value to me so i can remove that okay so that type of decisions you should be able to you know make no one will come and tell you know rahul you know remove customer name from detail shelf like that so you should analyze you should be thinking what is correct for my uh, dashboard and take decisions if everything is mandatory for you like say here in this situation customer name is mandatory and you cannot avoid removing that from your detail shelf try to see or try to explore if there are any alternate ways of representing that data that might help you okay or maybe try to change a layout like like i said drill down or you know create multiple views or different dashboards that is our point 2 so point 1 we talked about how we can use extracts how we can minimize number of fields and how we can use uh, data source filters to limit the data and we can run extracts point number 2 is how we can uh, you know reduce the data points you know avoid using fields on detail shelf which can increase the load times okay remove unwanted di uh, dimensions and try to represent the data in different ways that is our point 2 point number 3 or tip number 3 is a limit your filters okay so always try to limit the number of filters that you are using more number of filters more number of uh, times tableau has to compute that and you know and then you know it has to render the result so too many filters Uh, let's like say too many uh, there is a probe right too many crooks spoil the to crook right something is there right so similar to that too many filters will spoil your dashboard similarly here try to reduce that you can use include filter okay that is something that will increase the performance of your report try to use continuous dates okay again date is something very important so when i say continuous dates you can try to uh, just drop you can use this range of date or relative date options that are definitely going to help you in real time so all of this we can use to achieve what we need okay you don't have to calculate this type of logic separately and use them on filter shelf tableau has tableau is directly providing us to perform all of this so this is something that we can implement in our dashboard to implement this like i always say so your calculations or your parameters that you are defining should be boolean or numeric in nature or integer in nature because boolean or integer works faster compared to your string data type 
you can use parameters to get your values okay parameters and actions so all of these things we can try to implement in our dashboard to improve the performance so this was our point three limiting our data or limiting our filters next is optimizing or calculating so if there are too many calculations in tableau then it might take a lot of time okay try to see if you can achieve them at your query level so whatever is not possible at query level that only that you can try to bring it in your tableau and try to perform so if you're trying to do everything at tableau level then tableau has to compute each that each value of that separately and it has to calculate and it has to generate the results and if you're showing a cross tab report on top of that again it is trying to take a lot of time to get that result so that is going to hamper your design it is going to hamper your render time it is it will not fit in your requirement that uh, client has given so make sure you are using you know calculations or deriving calculations at a query level then tableau level see if it the, it works if it not then the worst case you can come back to tableau and you can create this okay so next is instead of using average calculations you can use min or max you can use lod functions to calculate that that is something that will help or increase your load times next is you know next important point is would be minimize the joints here so you know just because tableau has got the ability to join multiple tables together it doesn't mean you will be joining four tables five tables six tables ten tables so i've seen few dashboards you know in real time where there are 10 to 12 tables that they are joining at a tableau level so that is not going to help you it is definitely going to you know hinder your performance okay that is something that you need to take so if there are too many tables that tableau has to join you can create a materialized view on top of that and you can use that table single table to get your result that is definitely that will definitely increase the performance of your report now next step, step is cleaning up the workbook this is something that majority of our you know developers skip so what happens is suppose if i uh, go to my tableau dashboard assume uh, this is sheet has got one problem now client is saying that the category for central region is not working fine and he has some problem in this sheet now we have to debug so generally what do we do we will go to this sheet now there is some change that we need to implement so what we do is when we identify that there is a problem in this we come to this sheet and then we think okay why uh, i should not be changing the original sheet let me duplicate this and we'll try to do like that i'll duplicate this sheet maybe i'll work on my custom calculations i'll change my logics i'll try to work on that and while i do so like say this is my logic i will so again i'll see what is the logic that it is helping okay this is something like this okay maybe this is not working i have to duplicate it i'll duplicate this or maybe i'll create a new calculation to test my logic and i will write it as test version and i write it as just testing logic so now like this i might create hun hundreds of calculations in this now once it is done you will realize okay this calculation is working you'll go back to your dashboard you will just change that reference because it is, it is already working and you have tested now while doing so you will keep this sheet like this only or you will keep this test calculation like this only or this duplicate copy like this only okay so like this you you might be creating a number of calculated fields unwanted fields and all so this needs to be cleaned up before you are uh, publishing it to server this is a bad practice of you know publishing your dashboard i've seen many times you know many fields are present like this where you are writing test version test version 2 to 3 copy of 3 4 5 duplicate versions like that so never ever have those kind of fields in your views it gives an understanding of how good developers are we how neatly are we maintaining our workbook 
okay so that is one important point we are talking about here in cleaning up your workbook okay so because this reduces the space here okay now i've created one sheet which i'm actually not using but i've just using it like that so one issue you are keeping it there might be a number of issues in each sheet that client has raised so for every sheet that has raised you might be even duplicating this dashboard and you will be trying to test it because there is a common feeling that okay i don't want to disturb my existing dashboard so i'll keep it like this only i'll i'll duplicate and work like that okay so with that practice you tend to duplicate the sheets that are there in the workbook so that is going to increase the space that is going to increase uh, sorry that is going to decrease the performance so try to remove all of that once you know you realize that okay everything is working according to the expectation and you no longer need this is test versions okay that is a very good practice now suppose in this case only you know i've created a dashboard and then i've created this sheet i have created this sheet and i've created this sheet so if i'm going and publishing this this all sheets are unnecessary here client will never look into it nor client needs it so in that situation why do we actually need to put all of this in our dashboard Oh. okay always remember that point okay in uh, cleaning up our workbook should be one of the very important and prioritized activity before you actually publish your dashboard to your server you know be it your development server or be it your production server it has to be cleaned up okay you cannot uh, miss to ignore this point okay so and one more thing is suppose if you are not able to achieve everything in a single dashboard your design of the dashboard could also be one of the issues which can cause performance issues so there is no thumb rule that you know everything has to be in one dashboard only it could be you know your port design that client has given so try to you know divide that into multiple dashboards let the client navigate multiple sheets interact with the dashboards and all so you can try to split that and you can try to increase that okay so that point remember always okay and using all of the tips that i've shared here we can improve the performance of tableau dashboards and this is all we would be talking in interview question as well let's say what are the points you will be taking to improve the performance of tableau dashboard then this is all we need to talk about okay i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you found my video useful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't miss to comment see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day